The Missouri Department of Transportation is exploring another option for its Road to Tomorrow initiative. It's smart pavement that promises to kick dumb pavement to the curb. Time in the car can be time to think. But did you ever think of the road you travel as just plain dumb? Tim Sylvester, an engineer and entrepreneur based in Kansas City, believes he's the first person to officially call the pavement that stretches from city to city, state to state, dumb. I would like to claim that because when we started building smart pavement, then we just kind of humorously were describing everything else as dumb pavement. The Missouri Department of Transportation agrees it's fitting after hearing Sylvester's smart pavement pitch at the state capitol. The concrete slabs are like giant tablets with embedded technology for many purposes. One selling point, Sylvester says he can install technology that communicates directly with self-driving cars. You have a lot of investment in detecting the presence of other vehicles, and you have a lot of investment on in-vehicle technologies. Sylvester appealed to the state of Missouri for consideration. On behalf of his company, Integrated Roadways, he asked for a pilot location to create a test bed for in-vehicle technologies. By putting the equipment in the interstate, we can reduce the user cost, we can amortize the equipment across tens of thousands of users per day. He says putting critical equipment in the pavement will lower cost of autonomous vehicles and generate revenue for the state. MoDOT listened. The state also had an idea of its own to rebuild the aging Interstate 70 from St. Louis to Kansas City in a whole new way. First, by reviewing all kinds of innovative proposals for building the highway of the future. It's called the Road to Tomorrow Initiative, creating public-private partnerships for an interstate that could one day pay for itself. We're utilizing Interstate 70, the oldest interstate in the country that connects Kansas City and St. Louis, um, across our state as a, as a platform to really get that conversation going and get that interest. Largely because Interstate 70 has been studied a lot and needs um, major investment just to take care of Interstate 70. Uh, and more or less, when we do have the opportunity to rebuild it due to its condition and possibly capacity needs that have been defined, do we really want to just rebuild the same interstate that was built in the 60s? So Road to Tomorrow is seeking those innovations and have the potential to create new revenue streams. MoDOT's Tom Blair says the smart pavement idea was considered along with others. And now MoDOT is hosting an open search for the smartest pavement they can find, seeking proposals from anyone. The pilot project is called Smart Highways. Blair says it would provide wireless services to support mobile connectivity and next generation electric, connected, and autonomous vehicles. And he expects it would generate revenue for the state. MoDOT's Road to Tomorrow team has opened up a request for proposal for smart highway partners seeking individuals and largely private companies that want to come into Missouri, utilize any section of our highway in the state of Missouri to actually test and pilot smart highway technology, likely embedding that technology in our pavement that once proven in the test pilot could be something that we could incorporate into new highways throughout the state of Missouri. The winner will be announced in 2017. MoDOT is offering a stretch of any state roadway as a pilot location for research. We have 34,000 miles of state-owned roads and we'll entertain a, a proposal or a response by anyone, anywhere, you know, that wants any section of that road. For this pilot, Blair says the state would only invest standard funding for the cost of repairing the chosen stretch of pavement. The rest would be at the company's expense. For example, if I'm gonna invest a million dollars to rebuild or build that lane, of our normal tax dollars, as I normally would, I'll invest that amount of money. They're going to have to bring all the money and all the talent to add the intelligence to their their to that project. Sylvester's company is in the running, hoping to be selected. 
He says he did make the idea known to the state. In the meantime, MoDOT has other ideas it wants to explore. The company Solar Roadways is preparing for its approved pilot site at the Route 66 Welcome Center near Conway, Missouri. The historic location is why MoDOT chose the Welcome Center for this type of installation. Future pilot sites for innovations may or may not be on Interstate 70. In our most current request for proposal, we have definitely opened up I-70, if that's where the uh, private parties want to test their technology. Uh, we're, we're open to that, but so far none of them have jumped on I-70. It's a pretty busy interstate, and I think it scares some of our innovators off. They want to start on a little smaller playing field, if you will. MoDOT also had a request for proposals for an Internet of Things provider. We were the first DOT in the world to create an Internet of Things request for proposal. We were looking for partners out there that want to actually dive into uh, Internet of Things on public roadway right away. What is Internet of Things? Well, everything is going to become connected, and we might as well take us advantage of a lot of those connected things are going to be on our highways. Using electronic sensors, wireless technologies, and the Internet. This technology is not installed in the pavement. It's attached to things along the interstate. And we opened up all of our right of way, our bridges, our signs, our camera poles, any other capital improvements that we might have along those corridors. And we said, hey, we're open to any idea here. MoDOT recently selected the winning proposal. Tim Sylvester and Integrated Roadways walked away with the prize. The pilot will be a four mile stretch of Interstate 49, not far from Kansas City. The risk is not big, though, because we're not committing any MoDOT taxpayer money to this. We're just allowing them an opportunity on, in their case, Interstate 49, to pilot some of their technology that they want to prove. Sylvester explains it's basically the same technology used in smart pavement, but it won't be in the pavement, which he says is still a good opportunity for testing. It allows us to demonstrate technologies to the state of Missouri without having to tear up the road and interfere with traffic. It's not just the vehicle that needs to connect to the internet, it's also the things inside the vehicle. It's your radio, um, the company that makes your tire pressure monitoring systems, uh, your anti-lock brake systems. All of those manufacturers want to know in real time how their components are functioning. We have the roadside section where you currently have the posts and the poles and the signs and everything. And so we'll attach plastic boxes to those things, you know, routers and antenna and, you know, um, things that allow us to actually emit signals. For stuff that is too big to go in the utility conduit, then we would have uh, what we call a micro data center. And then we drop it in every half mile along the installation, and that becomes the housing and accommodation for whatever other kinds of equipment we need to put out on site. With the vehicle data he collects in a four mile stretch, Sylvester is hoping to win over MoDOT so he can win smart pavement bids in the future, which is where he believes future technology belongs, in the road. The full story about Sylvester's smart pavement, the cost, how he says it can make money, and where he'd like to see it installed first, that's all coming in the December edition of Innovations. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.